Yes, sir. We back at it again. I go by money, man. This is my life story 702. Once again, I want to say thank you to, to all the people that's been showing love and support to the channel. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Once again, um, please comment, subscribe, and like. Also, share if you could. I appreciate it. Um, uh, I want to say we have the biggest giveaway coming soon uh, to five subscribers to the channel. Um, so stay tuned in for that. Um, once we reach this uh, 4,000 public watch hours, uh, we're going to get to the giveaway. Uh, right now I'm at, I think, 2,700 public watch hours so we almost around the corner so let's not give up keep showing love and keep supporting man thank you guys this would be my second giveaway so far being a co um a content creator so i'm gonna keep giving back um uh, when y'all show love to me no matter what but this is andrew tate going off on the grill lady cheyenne so let's see how this go, man. It, it, it's going to be a little spicy. So uh, stay tuned in. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section. Let's get to it. Yes, sir. <laughs> you said it yourself. How can you be high value if 50 men have slept with you? What if I've just been single for a long time? No, oh, unacceptable. Around. Why is it unacceptable? Around. Our body count is probably the number one most easiest way to judge the value of a female. I actually think... Okay. That 90, no, 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 I'm going to say this. I think 99% of the world's problems, and no one's going to understand this, but if you can extrapolate, if you can listen to this statement and extrapolate it out towards society at large, I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. Because it would prevent, because it would. Oh, shit. That was atomic bomb. Boom. <laughs> How y'all feel about that one right there, man? How do y'all feel about the body count situation um, from guys to women? Like, is it is it really too much if a female have over 10 body counts? Or does that even matter to you as a man? Like, keep it 100 in a comment section. How, you, how everybody feel when it comes to this? Everybody talks about, you know, this... Um, whole thing going around 2024 and what y'all think about the body count situation let me know let's get back to the content prevent all of the disintegration of morals it would prevent so many things about the world but you know what there's like a and women would be like to be with me as a man I don't want to put another number on my forehead. You have to be a good man. They wouldn't stop f***ing these idiots and stop being idiots. And all the idiocy would disappear. All the degeneracy would disappear. Families would return. Virgins meeting their first man, staying with him her whole life and being proud of it. Wouldn't, couldn't we go back to such a beautiful age? All we have to do is start putting numbers on girls' foreheads. We could fix everything. That attitude is disgusting. It's not about women's body count. That would not, like, minimize any problems. Men like you are the problem, Andrew. Women... I myself am one of them. I'm sick of men that have this really disgusting outlook on women, policing women's bodies. Listen, if I want to sleep with this many people, I can and I will. Yeah, but what you're not getting is there's this whole hyper toxic independent movement of women, yeah. right? We are doing things because it's kind of, now it's our choice, but it's kind of like by force in the sense of it's like we're so liberated yeah. because we're literally exhausted with men on their power trip, on their this. So it's like, oh, if you can do it, we can do it. But this is what I said, but you, you men that think the way you think have created that. I understand your point. However, you're wrong. Uh, she thinks I'm arrogant. I'm being arrogant on purpose. I must admit, <laughs> annoying her is, is kind of fun. Yeah. I think that, uh, you know what? I'm being so nice. I'm being so nice to you. I say I think instead of I know. This is him being nice. The answer is I know, I know. Females who sleep with lots of men, first things first, I don't think that women naturally, intrinsically want to do that. I think that's societal programming. Yeah. I think that women- No, but I, I agree. This is what I'm saying to you. Like there's yeah. things that you were saying, like I don't disagree with certain things you're saying, but going back to my point, it's like by force, like I, it's to prove a point. It's like this power struggle. 
Like, I personally don't want to sit and sleep with loads of men. I don't care. Like, Good. I don't We're getting to... somewhere. You see, God, Jesus, I'm getting her. Please, little by little, got two hours left. Give me some time. I'll fix it. No, but if I want to, then I'm going to. Sorry, but that's where, Sorry, that's where you need there. to little understand. By little, little by little. No, but genuinely, but that's what you need to understand. No, you will not. God will frown upon you. You can't do and that. And you. And you. Do you mean and me? It doesn't say in the Bible I can't do that. Read the book. I can do whatever I want. I'm a man. Women can't do those things. It's disgusting. Do I can't think, believe you're think, poisoning the youth on YouTube. Why is he shouting? The idea that a woman can sleep with as many people as she wants just because she wants to is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Every man knows it and every woman knows it. Women should not do that. And the whole idea and the whole concept that females can adopt the promiscuity of males, because males have always been promiscuous. But there's actually a lot of men that are like good loyal men, just so you know. Do you think so? Absolutely. Absolutely. I know very good men. Would you, would you deem them high value men? Oh, absolutely. Successful. Everything that I listed earlier, 100%. And they don't cheat, right? Yeah. Here is how to be a video gamer forever in less than 60 seconds. Damn, I'm out Hear me out. If you're anything like me, then you... And they don't cheat, right? Yeah. It's possible. <laughs> Why is it funny? This... No, seriously, this guy is so toxic. And the only kind of people that listen to his kind of adv his advice are broke men or heartbroken men that are insecure. I think that... If a man has options mm -hmm. over a long enough time frame, he's going to eventually probably explore one of them options. Now, I'm not saying he's going to love another woman. I'm saying that a man who, when a man's in love, he only loves one girl. I agree with that. I believe in love. I believe a man cares about a chick. I believe a man should take care of a woman. I believe he should come home to the same place every day. I believe all those things. However, I think if a man truly has options, truly, that both the man and the woman understand that at some point he's gonna explore those options. No, listen, if, if I'm with you, do you think I'm gonna allow you to explore other options? It's either you're with me or you're not, go, go be single then. Cool. Like what, but realistically, what's, what self-respecting woman is gonna sit there and tolerate you I don't cheat. Out. I don't cheat. Okay, I'm a good man. Saying, I don't but cheat. But what woman is going to? If you have all these other options. No, no, no. Because I... I'll tell you what's more powerful, what's more alpha, yeah. and what's more attractive, and what's more high value Correct. is a man that can respect his woman, yeah, love her, not cheat on her, not disregard her, not see himself above her, not see him as, you know, she's his slave or anything like that. See her as an equal, treat her with respect, and put her on that. That's more powerful, a partnership, two people. Not, oh, I'm a man, I have options, I'm going to explore them. Listen, if you're a cheater, you're a cheater. If you're a loyal person, you're a loyal person. That's it. First thing. Damn, damn. How y'all think about that, man? Uh, was she right? Um, loyalty is loyalty. Cheat is cheat. Can't go around it don't, don't, no matter what it is. Um, what y'all think? Let me know in the comment section. Let's get back to it. First, men and women are not equal. We'll talk about that in a second. Secondly, is that if a woman sees, a, if sees Chris Brown in the club, do you think she's like, wow, he'll be loyal? Fuck no, she doesn't care. Like, at high enough status as a man, women don't even care about loyalty. Women don't even care about loyalty at high enough status. I'm not, and I don't cheat. Okay, Listen, I'm a man of God, I go to church. I don't cheat. I'm talking about in general. Okay, We're but I'm, about what I'm society. trying to explain to you, though, because maybe your perception of what a high value woman is, is what? Because I'm a high value woman, I make my own money, I possess all the qualities that I listed earlier, right? I believe I'm not going to be with a man that's going to cheat. I'm not going to look at a man like Chris Brown and be like, oh my God, like he's loyal. It, you, see, you see it as face value, you know he's a cheat, and maybe he'd just be a one night guy. Cool. Just like you men do it to me. Would you sleep with him for one night? Him. I don't think I would. I hope not, because that would no, not make you a one no, night guy. No, this is what I'm saying, because it's like, when you hold yourself in high regard, you don't need to do those things. So the kind of caliber of women that go for men like that and these opportunities don't have that much self-worth because it's what you're going to go with a man that's only deep, like only values you for one night. So it says a lot about the quality of a woman. All right, so, so we so agree so on saying, something. But I'm saying, so when you generalize about women, don't do that because there are many high value women who would refuse him that will not tolerate that. Completely. I'm not saying that. My point is you completely misunderstand me. I'm saying at a certain point, females aren't even interested in loyalty. Do you think people, do you think all the girls with Dan Bilzerian think he's loyal? I'm not saying every girl will go with him. I'm saying there are certain girls at a certain level of male achievement who are not interested in but loyalty. But is that attractive? Like for me personally, that's not attractive to sit there Good. and see a man that thinks it's cool to have loads of women around him. Be it. like, oh my God, they're bitches, this is that, I have all this money. That doesn't impress me. That doesn't impress a lot of women. I it's agree. about raising a family. It's I about agree. unity and stuff. I agree. But everything that you were saying, that it, it's not that. I'm talking about all these celebrities X, Y, Z, at a high enough value, when they have options, they will explore them. That's what I'm saying. And I'm also saying that if a man did decide to explore his options, it would not be as disgusting as if a female decided to explore okay, options. Okay, wouldn't it just be disgusting then? No. 
It's different if a woman does it. It's different if a woman does it. Everyone watching this knows it's different if a woman cheats. It's different. Honestly, men with these sexist views, like, it's so outdated. What kind of relationship do you have with your mother? A good one. A good one? Yeah, I take care of her. And, and, and also that paradigm, the whole idea that if you find a man who's good with his mom, then he's good with girls, that's, that's, that's bullshit. No, no, it was just more because I find that your thoughts towards women are quite disrespectful. You think so? Why? This arrogance that you've got. Don't tell me what, I, I'd actually like to know what I've said that so far. No, I'm just so saying, it's, it's not, you don't have to say anything. It's like energy speaks. Oh shit, that was a little spicy, man. Uh, make sure y'all comment. Let me know what y'all thinking about, man. Is he getting grilled? Is um, Andrew Tate getting grilled right now, or is Cheyenne getting grilled? It's getting a little hot in here. Yes, sir. It's getting hot in here. Volumes, because you're not actually listening to what I'm saying. I'm listening to everything you're saying. I don't think you're listening to what I'm saying. I'm saying women shouldn't sleep with lots of men, and they should fall in love with one man and stay with that man. And if that man takes care of them and ends up across 20 years sleeping with one chick once, you shouldn't leave him. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And the point I'm making is completely valid. And if a woman sleeps with one man once, that's unacceptable. What, if a man does it, it's, it's acceptable. That's the point I'm making. Do you, do you just want women to be submissive to you? I think in a healthy relationship, there's always a leader, whether it's the man or the woman. And I think that in the happiest relationships, the man's in charge. I don't think women should be submissive to an idiot. Yeah. And I don't think women should be submissive to any man they meet. And I don't think women should be submissive when they're not rewarded. Right? If, if a captain is in charge of a ship, he's responsible for the ship, right? Mm -hmm. If he's responsible for the ship, he has authority over the ship. Okay, mm -hmm. but it's a, I'm a woman, I'm not okay, a ship. We're a relationship. Sorry. Okay, the ship is a relationship. I know exactly what this guy's doing. He's just like talking in riddles. Like none of it actually makes sense if you actually listen to what he's saying. So I think if a man has responsibility and he takes care of the woman and improves her life and makes sure that every single facet of her life, whether spiritual, physical, financial, etc., is taken care of, then he should have some degree of authority. I don't see why a man would take care of a woman and have no authority over her while accepting all of the responsibility that's getting played. You're an independent woman. Maybe you make your own money. You want to do all those own things. That's fine. Fantastic. But if, if I had a woman, I would say, look, I like that you do your own things. I like that you do your jobs, but let's keep it part time. I want you to come with me. We got to go here. We got to go there. I'm taking you around the world. You're with me. I'm taking care of you, etc. And I'd expect her to listen to me in return. Why wouldn't she? I'm not going to tell you to do anything wrong or bad. But if I were to say, I don't like that dude. Stop talking to him. I'm her man, not that dude. It shouldn't even be a competition. She'd be all right. Cool. Block. Mm. Well, why wouldn't it be? But then if I said I didn't like that woman. Ever since you were young, you were lied to. In fact, I was too. But one thing I'm never going to teach my kids is that I have to save up cash, use credit, or have credentials like a W-2 to build my portfolio or buy my dream home. Corbin, do we have to have cash to buy real estate? No. Do we have to have credit to buy real estate? Heck no. Heck no. Okay, what about, do, do you have to go to college and get a really good job so I can build my portfolio? My dad didn't go to college. Her dad didn't go to college. So, all right, what about this? Do I have to be a licensed real estate agent to go buy real estate? No. No. Okay, guys, if you don't need those four things and you can get started with no experience, what's keeping you from taking action? Probably the fact that you haven't watched my case study yet. What I did is I built a case study on how I built a portfolio. That. This is what I'm saying. It's just a double standard and it's just like a power struggle. Like it's about balance. Life you know, and this is the thing, like I feel a lot of women could give you that life and be like, you know what? He can have a girlfriend, he can there's so many people that are into that. I'm not even saying no, I'm not no, a cheater. But I'm saying there's people that are into that. Correct. But, but I'm not a cheater. I don't but, want anyone to think this is about me. I'm talking women, about in general. But do you think women wanna sit here and look stupid? Like I I might think, do you know what? Actually, I'm listening to everything you're saying, I'm agreeing and I'm liking it. But then, if you've got me out here looking stupid because you might be in clubs with all these women around you, making me look like a f idiot, do you think I'm going to tolerate that? No. When you have men like you have explained, it's as if you're trying to prove a point to the world that you're yeah. this great man that has all these options no, and I you're agree. so successful. I agree like, with it you. doesn't work like that. I agree that. with you. If, if there was a man, which is not me because I'm a one-woman man, but if there was a man who decided to have multiple girlfriends, his approach certainly wouldn't be sitting down and saying it the way I'm saying it. The point I'm trying to make is, I think that the idea of a man having a girlfriend who he loves and maybe sometimes stepping out is not nearly as offensive as the idea of a woman having a man she loves and sometimes stepping out. You know, I watched American Pie the other week 
And I thought that would have been the best time to be alive. You know, like 2003. Like you can still call the people you care about if it's a real emergency, but no one's glued to their phone. Yeah. No one's scrolling social media. No one's trying to take an Instagram picture. Everyone's just at the crappy party, enjoying the crappy party. Like if you go to Dubai and you look around the bar, half the people aren't having fun. They're just purely yeah. trying to get Insta stories to look, to look like they're having look fun. Like they're having so fun. it's pure like, ha 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 ha. Okay, so I think that a lot of people now are doing things not because they enjoy them, because other people will think they're having fun and it's more about creating envy as opposed to actually enjoying yourself. Right. If you go on a really fun night out, you don't take your phone out. So when I see someone who went on a night out and took 20 stories dancing and laughing and, and having a great time, I know they're bored. Yeah, they're not in the moment. Do you know what I mean? Because if you really have a great night out, you don't take any stories and you, you forget to check your phone. Social media has completely and utterly changed the world. It's changed the way that we function, it's changed the way that we go out, it's changed even the places we go. Social media now runs the world, we live in an attention society and people will do anything for attention because attention is a currency and you can turn attention into money. Jake Paul is not rich because he's a boxer, he's rich because he used the attention he gets and monetized it via boxing. So in the attention economy we now live in, you have to understand that your attention is valuable, especially as a man. And women are out here today trying to extract your attention from you without returning anything. That's what the male-female friendship is. In the old days, man would give attention in return for sex. But nowadays, men just give attention and don't get any sex back. And that's what you have to be very, very careful of. Your attention is extremely valuable. So for all the men out there, if you're following a woman and you have zero chance of f***ing her and she ain't replying to your DMs, stop following her. Like, when's the last... Damn. We're going to end it right there, man. Let me know how y'all feel. Um, is Andrew Tate right about all this um, woman, women and um, body counts and the way they thinking in um 2024 and um is cheyenne right on how she feel that women can um you know it's their choice if they want to um have multiple uh, sex partners but just how y'all feel hit the subscribe button make sure y'all like make sure y'all comment and I will have more uh, spicy type of, you know, content like this on the channel. So, you know, be prepared and just, you know, um, be open minded for it. Uh, much love to everybody. Like I say, man, I go by money, man. This is my life story. 702, man. I appreciate everybody. Much love to all. I hope you all have a blessed day. And uh, we we out, man. Uh, let's get it. Blech.